is. Hi, Scampy. Hi, Scamp. Hey, Sky. Okay, so something exciting is happening and it's kind of scary. Uh, we have a new cage here. There's a new cage here and that is because we are babysitting our friend, neighbor, uh, little parrots, two little parrots. Uh, they were called turquoise parrots. Um, and I think they're smaller than a budgie, so... Um, I was, yeah, I was very scared because you guys are aggressive, aren't you? You use scary, big, tough Quakers, and um, I was really scared to have them here, actually. But they've been quite good. Uh, let's put choose down so they can have a good look. Go sit on your perch, little man. Oh, come on. Okay. Do you want to sit here? Can you sit here? Oh, oh, legs. Mr. Legs. Okay. You come here. So we are in the bird room. Everyone's got their cages and there is this giant cage here. And they are usually covered up enough so my birds can't get to them. I've even put something over the top to stop them climbing on top. But here are the new little babies. So they're turquoiseine parrots. Very pretty. Uh, the one on the top perch, that's little Steve and... Uh, she found him out in the yard and he was bouncing all over the place. It was a, quite difficult to catch him, so he couldn't exactly fly away too far. Um, so it took a long time for her to catch him. And, you know, she um, took him to the vet and had a good little health check on him. And as we always say, it's good to have a pair of birds because it's not good for them to bond to humans. And you'll see that in a lot of my videos. So uh, she got her a, him a little friend. So the little girl at the bottom there, that's Lulu. She's slightly different. I don't know if she's the same species of parrot, but it's close enough, right? <laughs> it's close enough, isn't it? Um, and they're quite good together here. Uh, they're not absolutely in love with each other, but they're not hurting each other. They're good together. They've got company in this big, giant cage. Let's just get, yeah, let's just get a... A view of this. Look at the size of this thing compared to riders. <laughs> but we don't let them out, so that is enough space for them to live in. At home, their cage is twice the length, twice the size. So uh, this is okay for a little holiday. They're a bit scared. <laughs> and my birds actually. I was really scared that they would harass them, annoy them, and try to hurt them. But they kind of just like to sit and watch. Uh, oh, sorry. I thought the camera was on the other side. They like to just sit and watch them. And I do like to cover it, half cover with a, um, a sheet. Not that I like... Ryder. Ryder. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> um, Sita, do you want to come down so I can cover them up because I'm getting nervous about it. They've been here for a couple of days and it seems to be going well. So let's cover them back up so they feel safe. Uh, shall we put the camera down so everyone can see what we're doing here? Make sure, oh, sorry. Make sure we don't turn it off by accident because uh, I keep doing that and then I have to start a new video. Can you, can you get off please? Come here. Thank you. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you come here. Okay, good boy. Okay, so uh, don't touch the camera, mate. Come on, buddy. I'm not ready. Oh, that could work. Don't, Ryder. <laughs> Nightmare. How about if I put a peg here? That'll stop it. Right on. I'm not ready. That's still sliding. That'll work. Okay. Let's get back to business. Uh, where's Lulu? Oh, yeah, they're still stunned. They're a bit stunned. Uh, I don't know how this was on there. I kind of messed it up a little bit. Sheets together? How does this work? 
Uh, okay, let's just take it off. Oh, hang on. There's a clip under there, so... <laughs> I'm so lost. Let's see. So, I put my hand in here. Oh. Okay, let's start this again. So, this goes here. Just give them enough cover to feel safe. And they have a natural light through the window and the nice breeze through that door. Gosh, if these were my guys, I would keep them out on that balcony permanently and just have them free out there. But then again, I'd probably have to get more of them because <laughs> they're so small. You can have a whole flock of these little guys. Yeah. Tie this one up as well. Somehow. Oh, that's a lot of blanket. <laughs> oh, this is the one they, um, oh, okay, this was tucked in here, yeah? And this was the blanket they came with, so I wanted them to have as much stuff from home as possible so they feel safe and comfortable. Excuse me. Excuse me, this stuff. Uh, I think we might need to put more clips on it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey? What are you doing, naughty boy? Who's a naughty boy? Ryder? Is Ryder a naughty boy? You are? Oh dear. Oh dear. Ryder. Oh, my head, please. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Wanna to talk to these guys? Say hello. Oh, you always wanna play peekaboo. Ready? Ready? Peekaboo. Peekaboo, good boy. Peekaboo. Yeah, let me just double check. I didn't pinch anyone with these clips. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm always ready. Yeah, so that's interesting. Uh, let's just hope they stay safe <laughs> and that they're happy here and that they're not scared all day long. Right? Yeah. That's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, cool. Uh, I also don't know if I've put this video up yet or not. No, I haven't. Uh, there's a little lovebird that um, has a long story and needed a home. So I found her a nice little home. Um, so that'll be in another video. Uh, yeah, so we'll just keep trying to find all these birds that don't have anywhere to go. We'll try and find more homes, right? White squibs? Yeah, okay. Give me a kiss. Good girl. Okay, bye.